are you trying to ruin our honeymoon? Huh? I'm here to return the favor. My god, we missed the bus because you're so slow. It's our honeymoon, but thanks to you, we're just walking around town like this. You're blaming it all on me. It's because you were shopping without paying attention to the time. What? You're saying that it's all my fault then? Oh god, we're out in public. It's so embarrassing. It's all your fault, so you better take responsibility. My name's Keiji Sato. I married my colleague Kaneichi Nose, and we're in the middle of our honeymoon. But... Jeez, is this, is this the, the way, way it's, it's going, going to be for our honeymoon? honeymoon? I don't know if we're going to make it as a couple. Kana, was she pretending to be innocent before we got married or something? I had no idea how selfish she was. That man looks like he's in pain. What's wrong with him? Leave that poor man alone. He must be homeless or something. People around him are ignoring him as well because they don't want to get involved with him. But that doesn't mean we have to take him to the hospital. Are you trying to ruin our honeymoon or something? Huh? Didn't you hear me? We didn't pay good money to help out a guy like him. That's not the issue, you know. Ooh. Anyway, I'm calling an ambulance. My phone number? Well, my name's Keiichi Sato. Ugh. After that, Kana and I got divorced, since we weren't compatible for each other. I should have known before we got married that she'd be that cold. But divorce, divorce doesn't, doesn't change the fact that I get paid peanuts compared to the work I put in. Look who we have here. You're as useless and incompetent as ever. Gah, Kana. <sighs> it's disgusting that I was married to someone like you, even if it was for a short period of time. Kana would not only criticize me, but she even started spreading bad rumors about me. Thanks to that, people around me keep giving me the cold shoulder. Eh, I want to quit. But I don't know where to work next. What the? That's a huge car. I've never seen anything like that. What's with that woman? And her butler? Is this a movie set or something? I finally found you. Huh? You're Sato Cage san, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you know my name? My name's Yui Ogawara. I came here to thank you. Huh? I'm the granddaughter of Ichiro Ogawara and you saved his life. That man that I saved during our honeymoon was actually the CEO of a major company. The Ogawara Trading Company, which has been around for a long time. He got sick while on a trip and would have been in danger if I hadn't helped him then. Yui-san insisted that she wanted to thank me, and that's why I was invited to her house. He's being hospitalized right now. My grandfather is also very grateful to you. And yet, I'm sorry it took me so long to thank you. No, no. I never imagined that he would want to thank me in this way. <sighs> hmm? Sato-san? No, well, lately I've been tired of human relationships at work. Mainly because of my ex-wife. But I feel like I've been saved, knowing that there's someone like you, Ogawara-san. Saved? By me? Yes, well, how shall I put it? You're naive. I mean, please know what I'm trying to say is not a bad thing at all. <laughs> it's fine. I'm well aware that I'm naive too. Sato-san, well, um, I know this is very rude, but if you don't mind, I was wondering if you could tell me what happened. I see. Sato-san, I'm really sorry. Oh, Gawara-san. We had no idea that you were in such a difficult situation because of us. 
we got carried away on our own and made you feel uncomfortable. Louise, it's not like that. It's my fault that people around me at work are giving me the cold shoulder. Even if it wasn't for what happened to your grandfather, I'm sure this would have happened either way to me and Kana as well. Sato-san. I've been doing simple, boring jobs so I don't stand out much and doing my best to keep a low profile, but... Simple, boring jobs? Huh. If you ask Kana, she'd say what I'm doing is simple, boring jobs, but those are also important jobs as well. Actually, my grandfather has decided to step down from his position as CEO, and I will succeed him as the new CEO of the Orgawara Trading Company. What? Yui-san, you will? I don't know what to say. That's amazing. I can't even imagine what the world's like for me, but... Um, I know this may sound crazy. Hmm? Sato-san, would you be interested in a position to be my assistant? So, I resigned from the company and took a new position as an employee at Ogawata Trading Company to be Yui-san's assistant. As she had no experience, she needed someone who was familiar with the industry. Yui-san thought so, which is why she hired me for my experience. And then, I started working at Ogawata Trading Company. Keiji-san, you definitely saved me and my grandfather's life. But that and work are two different things, and I'll be strict in assessing your abilities. Yes, ma'am. I completely understand. Normally, she's laid back, but when it comes to work, she suddenly has these keen eyes. Well then, let's get right to it. Please see what I did for my work. Here are the materials for our meeting this afternoon. Thank you. And here's the set of documents to hand out to our business partner. Yes, thank you. I received them well. Wow, they're all very well organized. Well, I've done a lot of this kind of work for my previous job. I'm glad to see that I was able to put that experience to good use here. I see. Well, that's really fortunate for both of us. Wow, it's, it's very, very captivating, captivating when she, she smiles, smiles like, like that while she's, she's in her work mode. mode. To my surprise, I was doing a great job as an assistant to the CEO of the Ogawata Trading Company. Thanks to this, I seemed to gradually gain trust from Yui-san, who was very serious as the CEO. How are you doing? Have you gotten used to our company? Yes. The employees around me, including you, have been very kind to me. <laughs> well, you've helped me a lot too. Not only as someone who saved my life, but also as a business partner. You're irreplaceable to me, Sato-san. Is that so? I'm really happy to know that. It makes my heart throb when she says it in that way. I mean, no, no. We're on our way to the meeting now, so I shouldn't get carried away like this. Ma'am, it seems that the person in charge will be here soon. I see. Today's business meeting is important for both of us. I never thought I would come back to the company I used to work for like this. To be honest, I'm worried about the stares I'll get from the people. Cage san um, you didn't have to force yourself to accompany me. No, I can't leave you alone just because of my personal reasons. And even if they say any criticisms about me, it's much better than them pointing the finger at you. Keiji-san. You, what are you doing here? Gah, <sighs> Kana. What? You better greet me as soon as you saw me. I'm your ex-wife. Well, that's true, but... Then... She's Sato-san's... Yes, she's my ex-wife. Hmm. I'd like to pretend that we never happened, though. And who's this woman? After we got divorced, you quit the company and now she's your new wife. Huh. How dare you? W wife I... I'm not in that kind of relationship with him. Yes, it's not funny to joke that I'm married to the CEO of our company. What? Is that... so? Oh, uh, no. That doesn't mean that I don't like you or something like that. 
Yes, I meant that a guy like me will never be a great match for you, ma'am. Is th that so? <laughs> <laughs> what? Did you guys come here just to act out a romantic comedy or something? Kana, you... Ah, well, it doesn't matter to me who you end up with anyways. Don't say that after you started this whole thing. And I don't mind you being rude to me, but do not be too rude to her. What the? You seem to be obsessed with this girl. So I told you we're not a thing. Kana, stop talking nonsense and just do your job. Don't tell me what to do. You're still annoying as usual. Like you? I'm not an idiot. My bosses all like me. It's easy to just blab about things to my stupid bosses, who just believes what I say. Are you sure you can say that? Who's going to take you and that woman from who knows where seriously? Cage san could it be that this woman is the type who doesn't listen to you at all? Yes, especially when it's someone she's looking down on. So, why did KG, an ex-employee, show up here all of a sudden? And he didn't even greet me. Well, yeah, I'm sorry about that, but... So you do feel at least guilty, huh? What do you mean? Stop playing dumb. Everyone here knows it already. I had no idea that the poor old man we saw on our honeymoon was the CEO of Olgara Trading Company. You must have sucked up to him so that you could work at their company. Suck up to him? I didn't have any intention of that when I was helping him. That's right. He would never do that. But you actually work there now, don't you? Jeez, I wish I'd done that old man a favor back then too. That's enough! Ha! How dare you talk to me like that? What? Did you really think your ability got you to where you are right now? You're just a useless, incompetent, worthless scum. No company would bother to hire a scum like you. Unless some blind business owner offers you a position out of pity or something. Kana! That's enough! I won't tolerate any more insults. What? Did you not hear me? I said I won't tolerate insults about him and our previous CEO of Ogara Trading Company any further. How rude. What's wrong with calling him an incompetent man who only got hired to your company through personal connections? The reason why you're so abusive to Sato-san is because of your personal relationship you had with him, isn't it? Ugh. Aren't you being insincere to your job, bringing in your personal feelings like that? If employees with your attitude are the majority in this company, then we should reconsider our contract. What the? Who do you think you are? Why does someone like you have such a high and mighty opinion about our contract? Oh my! Thank you for your patience, ma'am. Right this way, ma'am. I would like you to learn more about our company. No, thanks to her, I got to know a lot about your company. Ma'am? What? No way. Is she... What is it? You didn't say something rude to the CEO of Ogawara Trading Company, did you? No, I didn't say anything rude to her. Stop it, Kana. KG. You insulted me? and our previous CEO of the Ogawara Trading Company. I'll make sure you apologize about this. Sato-san, you. What happened here? Phew, jeez, just when I was wondering what you'd say. Everything that man says is a lie. I'm sure he's trying to set me up due to some personal grudge. So like you said, if you blab out lies like that, your stupid bosses would believe what you say. <laughs> you must have some hunch about how malicious Kana can be, don't you? That's... Hmm... Now that you mention it... Sh shut your mouth 
You're not the right person for Sato-san after all. How dare you? You! Ichi no san Oh, no. What you just saw now. You've got it all wrong. This isn't me. Ma'am, I'm really sorry for what happened today. It's my fault. I made you feel very uncomfortable. Oh, no. You're not responsible for anything. But still... You're right. I'm the one who should be apologizing. Ma'am? The reason I invited you like this today is to apologize to you properly. Her name's Kanasan, right? She was once your wife, and I criticized her harshly, didn't I? Yes. At the time, I said something about her attitude and other pretentious things. But the truth is, that's all wrong. Wrong? I was probably jealous of Kanasan at the time. I got emotional thinking that she was married to you. I said so confidently that I wouldn't let my personal feelings get in the way of work. But now, I'm not qualified as the CEO. You don't have to be so hard on yourself. She really is earnest and very serious. Huh? I mean... Jealous? What do you mean? Oh, that means exactly what it means. Ma'am, then that sounds as if you have feelings for me. Yes, that's right. It's exactly what you're thinking. At first, you were just a person who saved my grandfather's life. Eventually, I realized that you were someone I could count on professionally as well. And I became more conscious about you as a man. Become more conscious? I mean, it means that I have feelings for you. But compared to you, I'm a divorcee. That's irrelevant. But I'm just a boring old employee. That doesn't matter either. Sato-san, no matter what you say, it'll never change the fact that I have feelings for you. That's for sure. Whoa. She, she says, says it so, so clearly. clearly. Are you sure? I've told you many times. It's because you're Sato-san that I fell in love with you. She's so earnest. And above all, she's strong-willed. Come to think of it, Kana didn't change her mind once she decided on things. Their personalities are opposite, but I wonder if I have a thing for this type. Sato-san, um, well, I'd like to hear your answer. Uh, no, no. Now's not the time to be thinking about my ex-wife. Ogawara-san. Please call me Yui. Okay, Yui-san. I'm not certain that I'm really the right man for you. But I want to be someone who can stand next to you with my head held high. Because I also care about you, Yui-san. And I want to support you for a long time. <laughs> Sato-san! Do you think I'll be able to be a good husband this time? It's fine, because it'll be you and me. You're right. Well, if I'm being indecisive like this, even when you're saying that, then I'm not qualified for being your husband. Yes, that's right. From now on, you and I have to move forward together. Now, let's begin with today's meeting. In the end... The deal between the company I used to work for and Ogawara Trading Company was terminated. Kana quit voluntarily, taking responsibility for the loss of a major business partner. After that, I became a crucial member of the Ogawara Trading Company as it expanded its business. I became an important partner of the CEO Yui-san, both in work and private life. Thanks for watching until the end. Please subscribe to our channel.